Reason one, the simple, is used throughout the song to make it feel fun and sany while also not being boring and ambient. Reason two, the melody is simple and consistent, and you might think that would make it boring and repetitive, but this is thankfully avoided because, reason three, the bass line changes each time the melody plays. So each time it plays, it's a different experience every single time, which creates variance. Reason 4. The song doesn't rely on odd time signatures to be fun. Okay, I love odd time signature songs, like the Death Note soundtrack is mm, perfection. But this song kind of shows how even if it is in the standard 4-4, it can still be a great godly song. There's this thing that odd time signatures kind of do have each and every single time, and that's the strange kind of disconnect feeling, like we're slipping off the song, like we're just messing up. There is a couple of moments in Let's Play that are like this, and it doesn't even need 4-4 to make something like that. Reason 5. The train wreck. There's this really strange moment in Let's Play where it seems like the entire song just kind of fell apart. The rhythm breaks and everything is just broken. And then it just kind of goes back to normal. I really like that because it's this moment of extreme tension which makes you like, oh, where's the song gonna go? And then it just kind of goes back to normal and you're like, all right, that was pretty dope. Reason six, it's a swing. Reason seven, so there's actually two different versions of this song. There's the normal version and then there's the Uno version. The normal version is exactly what it sounds like. It's how the song was originally meant to be played. And then the Uno version is like where everything's all hyped up and you know, exciting and tense. Well, at least that's how it's supposed to be for most of the songs. Both of these versions bring their personality to the song. The original version is just kind of like an up, you know, excited version. It's like, okay, oh, hey, yeah, let's play some Uno, man. You know, we're chillin'. We're, we're playing some Uno, you know? And then the Uno version's all like, oh yeah, but someone's about to win. You can't let that happen. Hey, he might have a plus four. You got any plus fours on you? You don't got any plus fours. You gotta plan this stuff. And that's how the Uno version is meant to get you. It's supposed to be all exciting. And the way that it does so is by those damn perfect horns. For some reason, I'm not entirely sure what interval these horns are playing. Something about it just makes the rest of the song sound super dark in a sense. Almost just like it's screaming. It's bizarre. Reason 8. The song is infinitely repeatable, so I can just play it and keep playing it. Just, you know, it's just still playing. Yeah, I'll, I'll play it in the background for like two hours straight. Two hours later, I look over, oh, the song's still going. I didn't know that. I didn't think it was two hours long. Reason 9. It uses a swing rhythm. Reason 10. It's from Uno. Goodbye. <laughs> 